How's it going, everyone? Alright, before I do anything, I want to see if this is real. Feel the grids. Oh my god, it's real. Survive 15 different matches without being killed by a grenade. To get the trophy system, you must become the trophy system. I'm back on Vanguard, final day of season... What was it? I forgot. Season 2. Yeah, season 3 is tomorrow. I'm actually low-key kind of hyped. The cosmetics look fire. I saw the tier 100 skin. That also looks really cool. Finally, it was actually worth it saving up like a thousand COD points. The reason why it says 300 in the top right is because apparently like, the COD points are different between PC and Xbox and like all the platforms in general. I'm going to some ship houses. I haven't quite yet finished up the Volk. I think I originally did it so I can play good in ranked but i think they're like removing it now from ranked oh wow i forgot how choppy 60 F fps was on this it will look normal for you since it's uploading 60 fps trust me when i say they're playing so much 144 hertz call of duty these past few days this this is weird this feels strange i don't mind it it's bearable but it's weird i don't know i just wish my monitor supported hdmi 2.0 whatever it was i don't know man like the thing about series x is you don't need an HDMI 2.1 cable to get 120 hertz. You need it for a 4K 120 hertz, which I don't need. My monitor only goes up to 1080p anyway. However, the problem is for some reason my monitor doesn't support 120 hertz through HDMI either. It's only up to 60 hertz. It's so weird. And it's so unfortunate. I could be playing that so much smoother right now. Although from what I read, apparently like hovers around 60 to 100 FPS. A 120 FPS mode doesn't actually hit 120 that much. Just kind of unfortunate. Honestly, the hot take, Vanguard. It's okay. Like, I feel like everyone's kind of overreacting when they're saying this is the worst game of all time. End of Call of Duty. In my opinion, World War II was worse, but I mean, it's not that bad, really. Like, a bad Call of Duty game is still relatively fun because it's just it's just basic gameplay, you know? It's a mindless shooter. That's just how it is. So I've never really been too critical of Call of Duty. The trophy system thing is stupid, though. Please just, like, let us unlock it after a certain level, you know? Like, make it a new level 50 unlock, all right? I, I don't see why we need to... Do, do this stupid challenge for something that we should have had since the beta. I don't know, man. I just hope Modern Warfare 2 is going to be good. Or else I find they really do have a chance of saving Vanguard near the end of its lifespan. You can clearly tell with Season 3 that they kind of don't care about the realism anymore. Or at least at the accuracy of it. Which, I mean, thank God. I'm happy about that, personally. I don't know. I generally do think they have a chance to save this game. But as a result, there will be no more accuracy. And all those r slash Call of Duty kids are going to be just fucking screaming their lungs off. Crying to their mommy. What the I did not mean to do that. Honestly, I feel like the sixth sense might be kind of better for the 60 FPS experience. That's just me though. Also, does anyone actually change their vertical sensitivity different to their horizontal? Everyone just kind of makes it the same. Also, speaking of which, okay, wait. Dude, I always get most time on objective every time. Nobody plays objective. And this guy went for most explosive eliminations. Wow. Also, I did see that the trophy system challenge isn't actually tracking. It might only start tracking when season three like officially begins, which is... Which is I think 6 p.m. tomorrow my time. I forgot what I was gonna show.